Hi there, my name is Dr. Marissa May. In this video, we'll be converting from base two to base eight, and then from base eight to base two. The thing I think is important about any place value system is we have to remember how place values work. So I like to show students in the place value you're most familiar with, and that's the tens place value. So in the tens place value, you have the ones placed to the far right. And I want you to think of that as 10 to the zero. Then you have the tens place value, and that's 10 to the first. Then you have the hundreds, which is 10 to the second, right? And you're getting the idea, right? That's how we do our place values in base 10. So in any base you're in, your place values do the same thing. So let's draw a chart for this number in base two. On the far right, you'll have two to the zero, which is the ones place, and you have a one. Then you have two to the first, which is the twos place, and you also have a one. Then you have two to the second place, and then you, that's a four, and you have zero. So I'm following the number here from the right. Then you have two to the third, which is eight, and you have one of those. And then two to the fourth, which is 16, and you have none of those, right? I'm following my pattern of exponents here, two to the fifth, which would be 32, and you have one of those. Keep going. Two to the sixth is 64, and we have none of those. And then one more is two to the seventh. We have 128 of those, and that's we have one. So let's think about what we have. We have 128, and then we have a 32, and then we have an eight, and we have a two, and we have a one. So if you add those all together, that looks like 21, two plus two is four, plus three is seven, 171. This is in base 10, okay? So now we've gotta go to base eight, because that's what we're told right here. So I'm gonna build a chart for base eight. And again, we still start from the far right using our exponents. And, but when you fill, the chart, you're gonna fill from the left. I know, it sounds crazy. Um, let's see, that would be two, five, 12. Okay, and I know to stop because my number of 171 is not bigger than 512. So I'm not gonna have any digits in this column. So here's what I've gotta ask myself. How many 64s can I get out of 171? Let me say it again. How many 64s can I get out of it? Well, I can get two out of it. Okay, so 171 minus, now two sets of 64 would give me 128. And then I subtract, which will give me 48, 43, excuse me. Okay, then you move to the next column. How many eights can you get out of that? Well, I can get five groups of eight out of that. Five groups of eight would be 40, and I have three ones left over. So that means that this number in base eight would be 253. Now let's go the other way with going from base eight to base two. All right, needed to clear the board there just a little bit. Let's look at this base eight number. Again, I'll build a chart for it. So that means I have four groups of 64 and I have six groups of eight and I have two. Okay, so four groups of 64 is 256. All I did was multiply 64 times four. Eight groups of six is 48, and then I have two left. So let's add those up. That gives me 16 and 10, that gives me 306. Okay, 306, and this is in base 10, but now I'm gonna convert it to base two. So give me just a minute to draw the chart for base two. All right, here's our chart for base two. Remember, it's all based on the powers of two. But I went all the way until I couldn't 
get to the, like the next column would be 512. And obviously our number of 306 is not big enough for that. So we start filling on the far left. So how many groups of 256 can you get out of 306? You can get one. And then we subtract. So after I take the group of 256 out, that leaves me with 50. Okay, so how many groups of 128 can you get? None. How many groups of 64 can you get? None. How many groups of 32 can you get? Well, that's just one. So let me subtract that. That'll give me 18. Okay, how many groups of 16 can you get? That's one. And that leaves me with two. So I'm not going to get a group of eight. I'm not going to get a group of four. I am going to get a group of two. And then I won't have any left over for that column. So this is my number in base two, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero. Okay. So what I've done here is I took the number and I converted it to base 10, which is the system we understand best because that's the one we've learned first. And then I converted to whatever base I needed to go to. Okay. Using my powers, remember, build your chart based on the exponents there. I hope this helps.